High Power Laser Pointer Offences and Penalty Bill introduction. It is our privilege to stand Crimes, and speak coward punch on this Member's Bill. bill. Madam Speaker, this is a Member's Bill in my name. I rise and I, and I will congratulate the Member. Here at Parliament, the bill. Government are not the only people that can write new bills. Any MP can propose a new bill and they're all thrown into a, a ballot and they're drawn out of this, a biscuit tin. Keen to chat about her bill that's been drawn, National MP Sarah Dowie. Well, I mean, it's a local issue for me. Obviously, I'm the MP for Invercargill as well as the spokesperson, opposition spokesperson for conservation. Um, but this was an issue that was first brought to my attention back in um, 2014 when I was um, a backbencher and sitting on the Transport and uh, oh, Select Committee back in the 51st Parliament. Uh, so uh, Power Mac 5 uh, came and made representations to us and basically showed us a video of what shark cage diving was. And it was quite concerning because some of the operators were operating in a way, allegedly, that was um, not great for the sharks and was causing concern uh, to power divers. So um, from there, uh, the events that transpired was that the Department of Conservation decided to issue permits under the Wildlife Act um, to try and regulate um, the shark cage diving um, activity. Uh, then that didn't satisfy the power divers and they appealed um, to the court. The court then issued a judgment that basically said... Just last week, yes. Yeah, just last week, that said that the issuing of permits under the Wildlife Act um, couldn't be done. And so that's left the shark cage divers in a very precarious um, situation. They tell me that they weren't going to give up the fight and that they had bookings through to December. So, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> my bill gets drawn and um, my bill is basically a standalone bill that, um, in my opinion, is robustly formed. It basically governs a permitting system. That means that the activity of shark cage diving is regulated, puts in, in place some really clear parameters as to the operation, um, and also puts in a process for that um, application to be assessed. So has um, a, a public submission process that the public can submit and, and discuss their concerns um, with the Department of Conservation and that all goes into the mix and then the Department of Conservation would make a decision as to whether or not um, shark cage diving um, would be authorised. You didn't really get a chance between the court decision and the drawing of your bill the very next day is to decide whether or not it was still necessary. Because yeah. you know it could be that at that point you went oh well, it's been ruled illegal, I don't have to worry. That's right, that's right. But I mean, I guess we were left in a position that um, we had these shark cage uh, diving operators that said that they weren't going to give up the, the fight. And also, um, I had already consulted on my bill with um, power divers, with kinna divers, and with my constituents on is Stewart it, Island. Is it going to satisfy everyone, like the power divers and the locals on Stewart Island? Well, I hope that it will, and that's part of the process, right? That if it gets past first reading, it will go to the select committee and um, people have an opportunity to submit on that, and, and that will be discussed. Um, I do think that this is an activity that needs to be regulated. Um, at the moment, the shark cage diving operators are operating within 10 kilometres of a popular swimming beach. Um, I don't necessarily think that that is um, good enough. I think that they need to be in a place that everybody feels safe and that the different users of the sea um, can feel satisfied. But not only that, they need to be operating in a way that um, is conducive to protecting sharks because they're an endangered, the great whites are an endangered species. So we need to make sure that um, all levels of this activity um, are mitigated. Hihotaka ipuaki nā te tahi pūtia āwhina no mai i te pārimata. Kia ora.